Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So in the previous lecture we have started with the Lagrange interpreting polynomial and then we have discussed the drawback of that polynomial that if we have to add one extra point then we have to repeat the whole process to compute that Lagrange interpreting polynomial. So to get rid of this one we start with the another polynomial and that is called the Newton divided difference formula. So today we will discuss that how we can define Newton's divided difference formula or interpolation. So in this case again I have the points so I have some points that is x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and so on. So in the end I will suppose I get x and y n. So these points are given to me. Now I define the what do you meaning by the divided difference table. So first of all I will define divided difference. So in this case suppose I, so these points are given to me and let I rearrange these points and I write the points in the form of x0 less than x1 xn. So this is the ascending order I am taking. Now I define the first divided difference. So first divided difference I represent by square bracket x0, x1. So this is equal to f at x1 minus f at x0 divided by x1 minus x0. Similarly, I can define f at x1, x2. So this is equal to f x2 minus f x1 divided by x2 minus x1. So same way we can define all the first order. So x n minus 1 x n. So this one can be written as f x n minus f of x n minus 1 divided by x n minus x n minus 1. And if you remember from the previous one that this can be written as forward at f x 0. The only condition was that in that case we know that so this h was uniform in that case. So that is why x 1 minus x 0 was equal to h. So we are not dividing by h there. So it is similar to that one only thing is that that this we have defined for uniform spaced nodal points and this is for any it may be a uniform and non-uniform. So this is only for uniform data that is equispaced. So this is the first divided difference we have discussed. Similarly, I can define the second divided difference. So in the second divided difference, suppose I have three points, so points are given to me. So suppose I will write f at x0, x1 and x2. So this will can be written as f at x1, x2 minus f the first order divided difference x0, x1 and divided by the last x2 minus x0. Similarly, I can define my x1, x2, x3. So this is equal to f of x2, x3, the first order difference formula x1, x2 divided by x3 minus x1. So in this way, I can define 
the all the second order divided difference formula. So, in the end I will get f of x n minus 2, x n minus 1 and x n. So, that can be written as f x n minus 1, x n minus f x n minus 2, x n minus 1 x n minus x n minus 2. So, this is the way we can define the second order second divided difference formula. So, similarly we can define the nth order divided difference formula. So, in that case it will be I am writing that f of x 0, x 1, x 2 up to x n. So, that can be written as f at the n minus 1 th order divided difference formula. So, that will be x 1, x 2 up to x n minus f x 0, x 1, x 2 up to x minus 1. So, divided by x n minus x 0. So, based on this one I can define all these divided difference formulas. So, now let us we can write the so, based on this one we can make the table for this one. So, divided difference table So, divided difference table we can write same as the finite difference table. So, I have the value of x and this is the value of y that is given to me. So, x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 suppose these values 5 values are given to me and this is y 0, y 1, y 2, y 3 and y 4. So, the first divided difference d d. So, that can be written as here. So, this is y 1 minus. So, I can write instead of formula, I can write the expression. So, this will be. So, this is y naught is the value at f x naught. This is f at x 1. This is f x 2. Because we know that this data points are given to us and that is based on some function. So, from here I will get this is equal to x 0 x 1 the first finite difference uh, divided difference x x 2 x 2 x 3 x 3 x 4. So, this is the first one the second divided difference is so, from here I can write this as f. So, this and this. So, it will be x 0, x 1, x 2. This will be x 1, x 2, x 3 and this will be x 2, x 3, x 4. So, I can write the third one. So, this is f x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3 and this is x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 and the last one is the fourth one. So, that will be the only one value the constant value. So, the fourth divided difference will be x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 4 <coughs> using all this value together. So, this is the way we can write the divided difference table. Also, if I write f of x 0, x 1, so this is equal to f of f of x 1 minus f of x 0, x 1 minus x 0. This I can write as f x 0, f x 1 x 0 minus x 1 
and this can be written as I can write this as f of x 1 x 0. So, in this case I can say that the ordering of this coefficients or the values of x 0 and x 1 the indexing. So, that does not matter, it does not matter we write x 0 first and then x 1 or x 1 first x naught the value of the divided difference will be same. So, that is there in this case. Also, so this way are written. Also, we can write from here that f of x naught and x 1. So, this is equal to I have written like this one. So, this can be written as f at x 0 divided by x 0 minus x 1 plus f at x 1 divided by x 1 minus x 0 because from here I take the negative sign. So, negative sign I will take here. So, it will be x 1 minus x 0 plus f x 1. So, now from here I can write we can write f at x 0 x 1 x 2 directly from here. So, this can be written as first I will write f of x 0 divided by so x 0 minus x 1. So, I will write x 0 minus x 1 and then x 0 minus x 2 plus f x 1. So, this will be x 1 minus x 0 and x 1 minus x 2 and in the last one it will be f x 2 divided by x 2 minus x 0 and x 2 minus x 1. So, the third final difference can be directly can be written in this form and from here we can say that the interchanging of these arguments or the value of x size does not matter it will be same. So, from here I can write the the directly the nth order divided difference. So, this will be the summation all f x i right divided by the product of all x minus x i. So, i I am taking moving from 0 to n right. So, I am taking x 0 x 1 x 2 all here I am also going from here. So, in this case I can say that this is I should take i and this is I should take j. <coughs> so, I am taking j from 0 to n and j is not equal to i. Like if I take i is equal to 0 then it will be x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2 and all these values except this one. So, one value will become so then. So, this is the expression for the nth divided difference formula. Now, based on this divided difference, now we want to find out what is the interpolating polynomial in this case. So, I want to define now Newton's divided divided defense interpolating polynomial. So, this one we want to write. So, let the function f x be a function whose values are tabulated for the given x is equal to x i is i is moving from 0 1 up to n which are not necessarily equidistant
so which are neither necess should i write here neither necessarily equidistant nor in any order So, this is not to see in any particular order. So, no, no ordering is given to me and they are not also equidistant. So, in that case what we do? So, we put them in the order. Now, let us suppose without loss of generality that the ordering is this one x0 is less than x1, x2 less than xn. So, we put that in the ordering, the ascending ordering, then Then suppose I suppose we have only two points. Suppose we the so case one we have only two data points. That is x zero and x one. So this is x zero and x one. So I have only two data points. So in that case I will write the my interpolating polynomial that is p 1 x. So, in the p 1 x what we do? We write, so this value is given to me. So, I will write f at x 0 whatever the value is given to me because this value is like this one. We have the given nodal points. So, data points are like this one x i's and corresponding y i's, i is moving from 0, 1, 2 up to n and y i is equal to f at x i. So, that is already given to us. So, I will put f x naught plus then I put x minus x naught and the first divided difference that is x 0 x 1. Now, let us check this. So, now from here I know that if I passing through two points it should be linear. So, it is a linear interpolating polynomial and if I put x is equal to x 0. So, this x minus x 0 will cancel out I will get f x 0 that should be there and if I put p 1 x 1. So, this will be x 1 and from here I can write as x 1 minus f of x 0 divided by x 0. Now, if I put p, so let us uh, verify this one. Now, p 1 at x 0, so this will be all 0, so that should be equal to f 0 and p at x 1, so this is f x 0 plus x 1 minus x 0 f of x 1 minus f of x 0 divided by x 1 minus x 0. So, this will cancel out, this will cancel out and that will be f of x 1. So, based on this one p x naught f x naught p x 1 f x 1. So, it is the interpolating passing through these two points. So, this is a linear interpolating polynomial p 1 x. Now, what I do that? Now, suppose we add one more point. So, now suppose I have x naught x 1 and I have added another point that is x 2. So, three points are there. So, it should be a quadratic then I can write my p 2 x taking the help of p 1 x. So, from here I can write this is as f at x naught plus x minus x naught that is already there first finite difference 
first uh, divided difference x 0 x 1. So, this is I know that this was my p 1 x. Now, I add one more term. So, that is x minus x naught and x minus x 1 and then the second order divided difference. So, this one my p 1 x and I have added one more terms that is x minus x naught into x minus x 1 f this is the second order divided difference formula. And then it will be my quadratic polynomial. So, from here I can verify that my p 2 x will be <coughs> f x 0 plus x minus x 0 f at x 1 x 0 divided by x 1 minus x 0 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 and then I can write from here. So, this will be f the first final divided difference. So, this will be x 2 minus f x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 1 minus f of x 1 minus f of x 0 divided by x 1 minus x 0 and then this will be x 2 minus x 0. <coughs> now, from here I can write now we have if I put x equal to x 0. So, this will be all 0 this all will be 0 I will get f x naught. So, p 2 at x 0 will be f x 0. Now, p 2 at x 1. So, this will be f at x 0. So, x 1 this is here. So, this all terms will be 0. So, this will be x 1 minus x naught. <coughs> x 1 minus x naught. So, this will cancel out, this will cancel out. So, this will be equal to x 1. Similarly, I can write p 2 x 2. Now, let us see what will happen x naught plus x 2 minus x 0 f x 1 minus f at x 0 divided by x 1 minus x 0 plus now x 2 I have to substitute here. So, this will be x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1 and divided by here I am taking this x 2 minus x 0 and then it will be f of x 2 minus f of x 1, x 2 minus x 1 minus of f x 1 minus f x 0 divided by x 1 minus x 0. From here I can take the LCM x 2 minus x 1 and x 1 minus x 0. So, if you see from here this one can be written as x 2 minus x 1 x 1 minus x 0. So, it will be f x 2 minus f x 1 minus the same factor into x 2 minus x 1. So, this one this expression will be there and now all the terms will be cancelled out. So, that we can verify from here then this p 2 x 2 then it should come is equal to f x 2 only this term will be left all other term will be cancelled out from here also and then we can do the verification with this one. So, from here I will get my p 2 should be equal to p 2 x 2 so that sh should come as a f x 2. So, this we can verify ourselves. just little bit we have to do some calculation. So, based on this one now suppose, so now I want to do the generalization. So, now Suppose we have n plus 1 points, 
that is x0, x1, x2 up to xn. So now from here I can write directly my nth degree Newton interpolating polynomial. So that will be equal to fx0 plus x minus x0 the divided difference the first divided difference plus x minus x0 x minus x1 second divided difference so on and in the end I will get x minus x0 x minus x1 into n minus 1 and this is the nth divided difference. So that is the nth degree interpolating polynomial using the divided difference formula. So from here also we can say that my p and x can be written as p n minus 1 x like we have seen here that in the p2x I was using this value. So that was up to this it was p1x and I have added this term right. So from here I can write pnx is equal to pn minus 1x plus the last term. x0, x1, x2 up to xn. So now from here I can say that in the Newton's divided difference formula whatever the the interpolating polynomial exists at uh, the given number of nodal points. If we add one more nodal points then there is no need to rewrite the whole expression again just add one more terms in the previous return interpolating polynomial. So this is the way we can define the nth degree interpolating polynomial using Newton divided difference formula. Now so in this case the error is given as as we have discussed in the previous lecture also. So Rx is given as x minus x0 x minus x1 up to x minus xn. So that is already there but in this case it is multiplied by the divided difference. So that is x0, x1, xn so the one value is given to us that is x and x0 now maybe I can write again. So this is the divided difference x I choose any x and x0 x1 up to xn. So that is my error where x belongs to the interval x0 to xn. So in this case I choose any x in between and then I write the divided difference multiply by this factor. So that will be the error it is give error we can find when we apply the Newton divided difference formula. So in this case the I can write as compared to Lagrange interpolating polynomial Newton divided difference Newton divided difference interpolating interpolate <coughs> interpolating polynomial 
is easy to write and can be extended to and can be extended to added more tabular point. So, as compared to the Lagrange interpreting polynomial, Newton divided difference interpolating polynomial is easy to work, easy to write because we can see that we can write very easily and the and it can be extended to the added more tabular points because in this case we are using the, the interpolating polynomial which is given to us for the less number of uh, tabular point as we have already discussed. So, this is all about that how we can define the Newton divided defense formula. So, let me stop today. So, today we have uh, discussed uh, with the drawback of the Lagrange interpolating polynomial and then we started with the divided difference formula given by the Newton and then we have discussed that how we can write the Newton's divided difference interpolating polynomial. So, in the next cl class we will continue with this one. So, thanks for watching this, uh, thanks very much. Thank you.